Hey guys, today for the review I have the Kaiweats KM200S. I received this multimeter from the Kaiweats company to make a review. It's the Kaiweats KM200S digital multimeter. Before we dive in, I want to let you know I'll be giving away this multimeter. Stick around until the end to find out how you can enter. Let's start with the unboxing. It comes with a multilingual manual. There is a multimeter. There are the probe leads. There are two AAA batteries. The first thing you want to do is remove the plastic film from the display. The multimeter comes with a protective plastic case to shield it from accidental drops. Remove the case to insert the AAA batteries. Use a small screwdriver to remove the battery cover. Insert the included AAA batteries into the multimeter. <laughs> Remove the protective caps from the meter probe ends. Insert the black probe into the COM port. Insert the red probe to the input port. Remove the protective caps from the meter probe leads. When you switch on the meter, it starts in auto mode. Press the function button to switch to manual mode. The first option is DC voltage. The next is AC voltage. The next is to measure resistance. The next is detect continuity. The next is to detect non-contact AC voltage. When you press the function button again, it goes back to the auto mode. Hold the backlight button to turn on the backlight on the display. It's time to put this meter to the test and see how it performs. Begin by checking the voltage of this AA battery. When I place the probes on the battery, the multimeter instantly detects that I'm measuring voltage. The reading is around 1.5 volts as expected for a AA battery. The next step is to measure the AC voltage. I have a power strip plugged into the wall outlet. I'll plug the probe leads into the sockets. A reading of 115 volts is consistent with the typical voltage supplied by most US residential outlets. Next, check the continuity of the red alligator clip. Since I know this alligator clip works, I should hear a beep. Hearing the beep confirms continuity. The next step is to do the resistance test. This is a 47 ohm resistor. When I place the probes on the resistor, the meter shows about 47 ohms, just as expected. The next step is to perform the non-contact AC voltage test. Press the function button to set the meter to the NCV mode. The tip of the meter is the NCV probe. When a strong electric field signal is detected, the meter starts beeping. This is a great multimeter. Although it doesn't have additional features of other multimeters, such as testing for capacitance and temperature, it's a great value. It's compact and easy to carry. This is a solid choice if you just need a straightforward meter with essential functions like testing both DC and AC voltage or resistance. Now it's time to explain the giveaway. To enter, comment with the keyword multimeter. In two weeks, I will do a random draw and announce the winner. For full details of the giveaway, please refer to the description. No purchase necessary. Good luck! If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more electronics tips and tutorials, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.